Mm -hmm. Nice old things right there. Nice old things right there. I decided to take a different route today versus my, you know, usual, you know, pink line, blue line. Nah, pink, green. Nah, pink, brown, purple, and red lines and orange lines. So, decided to do something different today. Um, there's more 7,000 series rail cars. So, I have detected four. The one I was on, the one I seen, and another one I seen behind that one, and then another one right at Forest Park. This is a blue line train to Forest Park. <laughs> Lee Crooks, he revoiced all the lines, and I love that. So, yeah. Anyways, yep. Yesterday, when I was on the train, um, I don't know if you've seen it, but yesterday I did record a video and then deleted it. Basically, the video was about um, somebody stealing my bike, um, but come to find out, it was just... Um, it was just one of my neighbors borrowing it without me knowing. So, yeah. Yeah, my my, my um, dad, he was very pissed off about that. But, um, yeah. Anyways, that aside, cemetery. <laughs> cemetery, yeah, here it is. And I love this. How convenient. I've never actually, I've only been around this area once, okay? Well, I'm technically, not, nah, I don't consider it once. It's my first time actually walking this area. So, yeah, anyway, so, yeah, yesterday I was on a train. Um, you know, yeah, going back to the bike store, I thought someone stole it, but it was just my next door neighbors, you know, they did, they did whatever. They, they were borrowing it without we knowing, so there's that. So we, that's all clear. So then, you know, I made that video, and then once I find it, I just simply deleted it. You've probably seen it, and I, from, from what I've seen, I think only four of you, three technically, because I've, I've, I've watched a little bit of it. So yeah, um, so yeah, and the, okay, yeah, so by the end of the day, I'm over here applying for jobs and everything. I'm just thinking like, okay, well, my last source of transportation slash money is still with me. I thought it was gone. I was already accepting that if it's been stolen, it's been stolen. I'm not upset, blah, blah, blah. But it's back. Okay, good. You see, the thing is, people like to jump to, jump to conclusions, but I don't. I don't jump to conclusions. I hate that. I only jump to conclusions. Well, I don't know. I only conclude once I have a thesis and hypothesis and all that. So yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm speaking of metaphors. There's a Walmart going. Is it north? Going, I think it's south. I don't remember. But it's this way. So yeah, um, yeah. By the end of yesterday, I was on the orange line. Usually, you know, on the orange line, I'm able, on my way back to the south side of Chicago. By time, you know, I, I'm, I missed my orange line, the first orange line train because I dropped, I dropped a few items, my my dinner I was gonna have, but I dropped that, um, dropped that, and then I I didn't want to just leave it there, because you know I'm I'm trying to help keep CTA the transit you know clean as well, so I pick up after myself, blah blah, blah. missed that train, and then I just sit down. Waited for the next orange line train. Then the next orange line train came up. I sat on. There was no seat facing the direction of travel. So I just, whatever. Let me just pick a seat. Pick a seat that's nearby. Uh, that's, that's, you know, whatever. So the seat that I seen was the was the seat uh, that was, you know, facing backwards. While the, in the direction of travel, it's facing backwards. So I sat down next to the window. I was like, whatever. So then, um... Then as I'm looking, it's nighttime. As I'm in downtown, just looking at my reflection, I'm like, "Man, I'm an ugly motherfucker. Like, am I ever gonna be really successful in life? Like, I'm just thinking. I literally just rode one of the newest trains for Chicago CTA, and obviously, I'm having my little nerd moment and stuff like that because it's it's a new train. It's a series of things, and I'm just thinking like. I want to have a series of things. I want to have a series of things that could be constantly used. Like that's the thing. Roller coasters and trains, they the way how renovating and you know stuff work with them, it's like it's always a set path, okay? One thing and I like it when you use a series of old things and a series of new things and then sometimes use a hybrid and then sometimes it even newer. And I'm just now finding out 
CTA are already they are already thinking about their 9000 series so I, I would assume that's going to replace the remaining 3200 series rail cars yeah because once the 7000 series um, you know is in normal service like they're going to get rid of all the 2600s and some of the 3200s so yeah and then you know once you know oh man the 9000 series I want I'm already imagining that right now. You said, anyways, see, I'm looking in the mirror. And I'm like, man, am I ever going to be successful? Standing myself in the mirror, I'm like, this is like a tease. Like, I really wish. And then CTA over here opened up a new station at Damon Green Line up north. And then they over here, Six Flags, Great America. They're teasing a new roller coaster on top of that. They just have a new ride, Sky Striker. I was there, and that was nice. And now Metro. They have their new station for the um, the Rock Island. Uh, rest rest in peace to the people who, who just died. So yeah, I'm seeing somebody. I'm not gonna get them the camera. So yeah, funeral. Oh, a funeral's taking place. Rest in peace to whoever died. I'm literally right next to a cemetery. So yeah. So yeah, I'm looking at my mirror. I'm like, I'm looking at my reflection like. Am I really going to be successful? Am I really going to be successful? There's a lot of cars here. Somebody died. Yeah, am I really going to be successful? So I'm just thinking like, wow, like I'm, I'm kind of a failure. I'm technically not supposed to be born. Technically. She's receiving a phone call. <laughs> this is funny. Hello if you're watching. So yeah, you're, you're, you're calling me in the middle of a while while I'm recording the video. So yeah. So yeah. Anyway, so I answer your phone right after this, okay? Anyway, so um, yeah, I'm looking at my reflection. Just one. Am I gonna be successful? I'm technically not even supposed to be a well born. I was born. I was conceived through sin. So I'm just wondering, like, if things were done, if my parents done right in the first place, then I would not have to be dealing. I would not have to be dealing with this, you know, poverty lifestyle, you know. I wouldn't have to deal with that, but that's what happened. Unfortunately, my parents, specifically my biological parents, because they're the ones who brought me into the world. Because they did not do everything they were supposed to do, biblically speaking, or let's take Bible out of it for a second. Um, because they did not make sure they were set. That way we can have a proper roof over our, over our head. Because they did not do that. Look at us now. We're basically bastard children. Technically. Technically I'm an accident. Technically I am an accident. I'm not supposed to be alive. Technically. Well. Born. You know what I'm trying to say. Now. That brings me the question. Why am I even living? Especially considering my dream is way too big. It just makes me not want to even be in this world. I have too big of a dream that's way... It's just too big. It's, it'll take generations for my dream of the world. Um, of the world, or at least my own dream of my own land. It will take generations to, you know, to complete my dream, okay? Especially this whole 5,000 acres. How in the world am I ever going to get that? I can already see, chances are, I'm not going to get that 5,000 acres. I already know that. Chances are, the chances are very high of me not getting it. I already know that. I barely can manage, I barely can manage my online store. My online, see I have an online store. This video is sponsored by Saturday Productions. I don't know, it gets in, won't get into the script, but I can't, I can't barely, I can't barely um, finance and manage, financially manage my online store. I have an online store full of ebooks, okay? So far, I've only released two, okay? If you really want to check it out, you know, solidproductions.com. That's my small business I have made so far. But I already owe, owe them 500 something dollars. But I have to pay that by 2025. I was actually, my bill was due. But I decided to switch to a two-year plan. So for, for the time being, I don't have to pay them. I'm just going to have to pay them, you know, you know, pay them later. So you know, you know Wix website. You know if you if you because I have a store that that costs money and then the domain. So yeah, if you really want to you know support my stuff, SolidLeaderProductions.com. Okay, I make books. I need to release some more books. So 
Yeah, it's not that hard. So anyway, so Lego Walmart. Oh, well, Lego Walmart. That was pretty quick, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I'm just wondering, like, my dreams are way too big. I wanna make video games, I wanna act, I wanna sing, I wanna voice act, I would like to do, I don't know, what's that called? Operas, I wanna do, you know, theater runs and stuff like that. Um, what's that called? It was some specific word. I forgot what it's called. Broadway, I would like to do that too. Man, voice acting. I would like to make all my video games, especially, and I'm a song composer. I, I'm somewhat of an artist as well. It's just a huge mess. My dream is way too big. And I know very well, chances are, I'm not going to be able to fulfill all that. And that sucks. Okay, run. It was like somebody stole a Walmart card. <laughs> Reminds me of my days back in the day. And yeah, someone stole a Walmart card. She look. So yeah, anyways, yeah, my dream is too big. I want to do too much. That's my problem. Because I want to do too much and knowing very well, I won't be able to get it. Like, what's the point of even trying? I mean, I'll try. I'm glad I decided to risk myself making that website, solidproductions.com. I'm very glad. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, um, regretting that at all however financially speaking consider my money i owe them and considering you know you know paying them and everything i don't know if i'll be able to pull this off i gotta save at least 500 something dollars for wix.com so you know because they're the ones who's you know they're the ones they're the code holding my websites websites that's right putting this together they'll all link the description below i don't think solid productions is but anyway so yeah Anyway, since my dream is too big, I'm just wondering, like, what in the world am I doing? And that goes even for my dating life. Everybody, here we go. I'm going to talk about the dating part. And especially seeing all these pretty females out there. All these pretty females out there. And I'm trying to do everything right to make sure to be this provider. I'm already ahead of the game. I already know what it is I'm supposed to do as a man. I already know that. But I have absolutely no clue of how to obtain that. I have to be financially stable to be able to. I'm trying to cross the street. Um, let's see. I'm going anyway. I have to be financially stable in order to, you know, to keep a girl. I feel like I can probably get a girl. I don't know that. I don't know that. I've never tested it out. But as far as my confidence or whatever, I feel like I can do it. Though. One of those days, like a party like last week, no, a few days ago, I was in Evanston, Illinois. There's this cute, short, um, was she a blonde? I think she was a brunette. I think she was kind of like a hybrid. But she, she, I think her hair was mostly blonde. It was a cute blonde, short blonde. I wanted to approach her, but I almost back, I kind of backed out. Um, because I did get a little nervous, but I said, you know, fuck, never mind. I need to remember that I'm, I'm jobless and everything. I don't have what it takes to be a provider. So, yeah, um, yeah, so... Yeah, about that whole dating thing, you know, I, I understand my position as a man. Biologically, I want to be able to pay for everything. I want to be able to, you know, like, and then, okay, well, why don't you find you a woman who also don't have a job? Okay, I mean, I could do that too. And I'm pretty sure, you know, for the time being, she wouldn't mind. But in the end of the day, in the end of the day, do you really think she's going to want to stay with the broke boy? Okay, well, you're looking in the wrong places. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Where do I look? In the church. Okay. Now, the big question is, does the church have the women I'm looking for? No, okay, don't get me started with the church, okay? The church... I Man. The church, the church girls, I'm not saying I don't want them. And I'm not saying... Well, I am saying... But I'm not saying that I'm not... Um, I don't qualify for them. Nah, -uh. I'm just saying, like, um, across the street. I gotta do a lap. Why am I going to Walmart? Okay, yeah, go to the bathroom. And I gotta get a few things too. I'm just saying, like, when it comes to the church girls, they either reformed ex whores. Or if they're very pure, they actually are virgins and everything and never had a boyfriend or whatever. I'm pretty sure her father, her parents 
won't won't see me as a good quality husband. Her parents probably won't see me as a good quality husband because I'm jobless. I have no idea how it is to even be that man or whatever. So it just makes me wonder. Like I'm teasing myself seeing that's one problem I gotta say. One thing I gotta say, live in Atlanta is obviously there weren't the most prettiest females down there. Um, so it, you know, there was really no need to, you know, approach females since most of the females aren't that cute anyway. But I'm over here in Chicago downtown, the north side of Chicago, Everson, Illinois, and I'm seeing all these pretty females and I want to approach them so bad, but I can't because I'm too poor. I can give it a chance, but at the same time, like I said, I'm not trying to waste time. So I'm seeing all this. I have this big dream of acting, building, creating, renovating, because I want to do that. I have this train dream, this roller coaster dream, theme park, 5,000 acres, acting, you know, all the stuff I want to do. All these businesses and everything, and even probably some social businesses and probably be in politics just a little bit it just makes me wonder what's the point point? and then like dating thing i cannot pursue that right now i know i'm young i get that and i don't know things but i'm just saying like what's even the point of me even trying to live and then the government don't care and don't want to listen so and don't get me started with incel stuff hold up i'm gonna try and record anyway so don't get me started with incel stuff because i'm going Especially considering I'm a virgin and I am um, trying to hold my purity. And considering I don't want to, you know, settle. Excuse me. Holding this purity is going to be rough. It really is going to be rough, for real. Where am I going? I need a here, but I need a blanket more. These are rugs. Cause it's getting cold. All right, found what I was looking for. This is kind of blanket. What is this? This blanket. These are it. Oh, okay. These are it. Let me look at their heaters too. Cause it's getting cold in the house now. And let's also look at the bikes I missed out on. Um, let's see. Uh, wait a minute. No, okay, no, that's not exact copy. Wait a minute, is this? Oh no, that's not. Never mind. I mean, this has no air in it. Let's see. Cruiser. Mountain. Huffy. Yeah, okay, never mind. Or is up trail? Nope. All right, I'm out of there. So yeah, um, some Xfinity dude actually stopped me. I told him pretty much that I'm poor and I can't afford all that. But however, considering the money I do have, I did took his card, so uh, Mr. Tony, I don't want to dox him. His, his name, his um, number. But you know, he, this guy Tony, he, because I, mean, I, I am looking to have internet in the house because it's, it's terrible in there. So, oh, there's more bikes over here. Uh, do I see an Orzark Trail? Okay, I don't see any. Okay, going back on topic. That goes to the question about the incel stuff. Don't get me started with that. The easy answer is no, I'm not, okay? And I already made a whole video on that, okay? I already made a whole video on that. Um, so I really don't need to be talking about this, but in short, I am, you know, practically, no, in practice, me personally, I am not an incel, okay, but, um, well, what's what I'm thinking, but considering I never had a girlfriend or had the ability to even approach women because I'm too poor, um, and the fact that I, that I've never really, I've never really attracted females. Like, I don't know how many females that were attracted to me. I think the, the only thing I can think of is probably one. That's it. Probably one female was attracted to me. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. 
That's all. I'm distracted if you know what I mean. But she's not a blonde, so yeah. Anyway, so, and don't get me started. I've noticed something. Even the the unattractive females down here in Chicago is more attractive than the un unattractive females in Atlanta. Okay, yeah. Anyways, going back on topic, like, practically speaking, I'm not. I'm a vote self, voluntarily, you know, celibate, you know, voluntarily celibate, virgin, you know, whatever. Um... Across the street. It's my chance. In conclusion, <laughs> in conclusion, I'm just thinking about my whole entire life. The fact that I'm, I want all this success, 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 and everything. I mean, make my video games and everything. I just want to make my video games and make my movies and build my lands. Build my dreams, dream my theme parks, my transits, trains, or whatever. I just want to do it all and just have have a wife, you no, know, have a wife right there side of me. But my problem is I'm not settling. That's that's my problem. I'm not saying I'm too good. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm not saying I'm too good. I'm just saying. I the fact that I've held held on to my purity held on to my purity biblically speaking and I'm getting and I'm getting what's the word I'm playing clean up guy it's just no I'm sorry I cannot do that we'll see what happens okay and considering I got I understand because you know they all my family but considering all all three of my family variants they want to see me quote unquote happy I want you to have a girlfriend because I want you to be happy. A girlfriend is not going to solve my problems. I got to do this between me and God. I got to do this. I got to work on myself. And that's what I've been doing for the past, I don't know, like eight years. I'm still trying to figure out everything. I don't know if I'm going to ever get my own place and all that. I don't know. I don't know. I believe definitely in the possibility of getting my own place. That's for sure. But from the way it looks like, the chance of me getting my own place is very low. I don't know. Is that a B? Okay, it has to be. Stay away from me. Yeah. But still, it's just... Seeing, you know, seeing all these successful lives, it's like... It, it teases me. And don't get me started with people my age who are successful. Like, all these YouTubers, I will say... The internet did screw up people's minds. It really did. Including my own. Because I want this lavish lifestyle like that. I'm trying to figure out how in the world someone like Logan Paul. Um, no, let's use let's use um, Logan 30 Acre, SML. He loved Mario. Loved Mario. Him and his older brother Lance. Hello. Want to look at me? Watching, uh, making YouTube videos. Him and his older brother Lance. They've been making Super Mario Plus videos all day because they genuinely liked it. And then Logan somehow got very famous for it. Somehow got very famous for it. I'm glad for him. I'm very glad for him. Somebody left the groceries. I'm not gonna take it. Someone homeless might need it. Yeah. Yeah, finally, finally, finally in conclusion. I just got too many too big of a dream. I just wanted to be myself. I don't wanna I think that's a separate video. I just wanna be myself. Even if I am autistic or whatever, whatever, whatever the fuck I got, whatever it is, I just want to be me, be Ray Marco, and I'm going to do that, and and just be successful. Like that's it. I don't have to have everything. I just want to win a couple things, and that's it. And then I'm comfortable dying. If this, no more sadness. This is an example of sadness. Of what, what what Jesus said himself. That's why I can't wait. I can't wait to be dead, honestly. Okay, why don't you just commit? Why don't you just offer yourself? Join the join the cemetery. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna sit there and you know do the unthinkable to myself. I'm not gonna do that. And to you fuckers who want me to. Man, what's wrong with y'all? Like there's some genuine evil people out there on the internet. I don't understand, like 
I wonder how many people that's been cyber bullied, that's been cyber bullied and then actually did off themselves. I'm, if they're if those people who cyber bullied them to off to cyber bullied their victims to off themselves, if they sit here laughing in their chairs, laughing behind the screen, you are one evil person. Yeah. So as far as me me doing that to myself, no, I'm not gonna do that. Though it sounds very tempting considering my circumstances, considering my whole entire life technically is a lie. My biology parents ain't together. They started through sin. Okay. Now my childhood parents started through sin. And now even my modern parents are doing the exact same pattern. This pattern of generational curses. This generational pattern. It's like, it's got to stop. It got to stop. I don't know how and where I'm going to break a curse. If the foundation, how and where I'm going to break break a cycle if the foundation of it is nothing I'm gonna have to act like Adam just be on my own reset because before Adam had had a female had Eve you know I don't think that's too far walk but before Adam had had Eve um, he was by himself like literally by himself just him and God so I might have to replicate that I might have to replicate that I just hope I don't become a simp because Adam he became a simp I'm not desperate for a I'm not desperate for a girlfriend and I'm definitely not desperate for sex I don't care about that and one thing I really hate I really hate is when I'm on no fat and then that fool Satan want to keep tempting me that's the worst that's, that's the thing that, that makes it even worse that fool Satan would do everything he can to destroy me. It sucks. That fool Satan, he's annoying. He is annoying. Really annoying. He's the most annoying person I could ever think of. Make no sense. All his demons telling me do this, do that. Just annoying. Oh, off yourself. Like, ain't no, okay, I'm, I'm talking to you all. Finally, 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 in conclusion. I just hate the idea that I have all these luxurious, luxurious dreams, okay? I, I want to do too much. I want to become a pilot. I want to become an actor. I want to become this, that, train operator. I want to have all this stuff. I want to have a series of things. I want to have a girlfriend that eventually becomes my wife. Let's just throw, you know, nice sex in there. Let's throw that in there. Okay, neither. Let's throw that in there. Once we're married, okay? No, no. I just wanted to live right. That's all. I just want to live the way God wanted me to. That's all. Is that hard to ask for? Apparently, yes. So, yeah. I don't know what else to say. This video is way too long. So, yeah. That's it. Here go to middle. Here go to cemetery. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna join this place by my own hands. Okay. I'm not gonna join underneath those. I'm not gonna join under, underneath that ground by my own hands. I'm not saying. I'm not asking for people to. So, um, that's not me asking for people to, you know, hurt me. That's not what I'm saying. There's no invitation for somebody to kill me. But, um, I'm just saying. This earth is hell, and I'm living it. So, yeah. That's it. I'm not depressed. I'm not gonna get rid of myself because I hurt way too many people. If I actually do. I'm just thinking about everybody's response. If I did die by my own hands. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. What y'all think? Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.